hello friends welcome to our channel in this lecture i would like to explain another topic that is based on the precious concrete see here the concept is purely related to the tendon with a parabolic profile so already in the previous lecture i explained various uh, ways the tendon will be provided that is the tendon will be provided along the centroidal axis and the tendon will be placed with an eccentricity e and again the tendon will be provided with bent in tendon but here the tendon will be provided with a parabolic profile if you observe this cable which is in the shape of parabolic see here this is a precessor concrete beam with an uniform distributed load is acting on the beam and here the tendon is provided with a parabolic profile so what happens when the cable is provided with a parabolic profile it will exerts see here in the figure 2 it will exert a uniform upward pressure wc per unit run so this is the wc it will exert upward uniform pressure and then if you see in the figure 3 so it will therefore received a downward uniform distributed load wc per unit run finally here hc h is the dip of the cable so whenever a parabolic cable is acting so due to this downward loading and the cable is providing an upward pressure finally what happen it will receive downward uniform distributed load wc per unit run so final net downward loading will be equal to so net downward loading will be equal to this w minus this wc which is acting here w minus wc and again here so horizontal reaction at each end of the cable will be equal to px which is denoted with p that one will be equal to wc l square by 8h so this is the standard formula which we have to remember so that is w c l square by h square c will comes under free piece so generally we are taking w c l square 8h okay then again if i want w c so which is acting on the upward pressure acting on the cable if i want that value w c will be equal to cross multiplication 8h by p sorry 8h 8hp by l square so this is the value and h is equal to here exactly at the center height which is the dip of the cable dip of the cable and we know so p is the precessing force and l is the length of the one what we have to remember so this is the way we have to remember the formula and again if you want net downward loading so wc means 8 hp by l square and w so uniform distributed load will be given some value like some 40 kN you are taking 40 minus this value otherwise if they are not given any value you can go with the dead load of the uh, beam like b into d into 1 into unit theta for the rcc so if it will be rectangle you, you will get like that if it will be i section you will get area into some other value friends in the same concept i will solve another one example see here the example will be like this already i taken the data regarding that example if you see here so the figure shows a precessor concrete beam provided with a tendon having a parabolic profile so based on the same concept so if the total external load on the beam is 35 kN meter so which is given w here 35 kN per meter so i am also taking the given data for our better understanding what is given what we have to find w equal to 35 kN per meter and again calculate the extreme stresses for the mid span section the tendon carries a precessing force of p equal to 1000 kN so what is the formula for the extreme stresses for the mid span section each and every time you are remembering only one value p or minus m by z so these are the extreme stresses at top and bottom okay then if you want this values what we want to find is p value will be given a value will be the area that one will be equal to a will be equal to 400 by 600 we know 400 by 600 already we solved so many problems previously based on these dimensions 24 into 20 to the power of 4 mm square and again if you want z value what you will do you are taking directly bd square by 6 value so that one will be equal to 400 into 600 square by 6 
again simplify how much you will get bd square by 6 generally you will get a 2.4 into 10 to the power of 7 24 into 10 to the power of 6 like that like that also you will take so already i am taking simplified values and again here h value will be given which is dip of the cable that one will be equal to 100 in mm and again what we want we already know z value also if i want m m equal to we know w l square by 8 if you want w l square by 8 so what is the w value w is the net downward loading here net downward loading friends always see the concept first then only you can solve the problem net downward loading so that one will be equal to w will be equal to w minus wc so what is w w will be equal to 35 kilo newton per meter and what is wc if you want wc we are taking 8 so what is the formula ph by l square so solve that one simplify that one then only you will get so wc will be equal to 8 into 1000 in kilo newtons and h in terms of meter i am taking because l value will, will be taken in directly 6 meters so 0 0.10 if you simplify you will get wc value will be equal to approximately it will be equal to 2.22.22 kilo newton per meter so if i know this one and it is easy to find w value w will be equal to so this one 35 minus 22.22 here also i am taking directly 22.22 so what is the rest of the value approximately some 12 to 13 so it will be around 12.78 kilo newton per meter so whatever the load obtained here based on this we are finding this bending moment w equal to 12.78 into 6 square by 8 so what is m here if you simplify w l square by 8 like that you will get a 57.51 kilo newton meter you also check once the value with the calculators whatever the value obtained with you correctly you can solve with that model only you just see the procedure how i am doing okay then again so if you know m value also so what is the rest of the value each and every value is, will be known so extreme stresses extreme stresses at top will be equal to p by a plus or minus m by j at bottom at top and bottom so top will be equal to plus bottom will be equal to minus First, I am simplifying 1 by 1. I am simplifying. This is due to pre stressing force. So, P by A will be equal to, we are taking P equal to 1000 into 10 to the power of 3, which are taking in terms of Newton. And area will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power of 4, in terms of mm square. So, you will get around P by A value will be equal to 4.17 Newton per mm square. And again, m by z. So, m value will know 57.5. 51 into 10 to the power of 6 because kilo newton meter 10 to the power of 3 in newton 10, 10 to the power of 3 for mm so newton mm you will get here and z value in terms of mm cube so z value will be 2.4 into 10 to the power of 7 mm cube so if you cancel this one you will get square here finally after substituting you will get the value in terms of mm square so m by z value will get a 2.40 so we know what is the formula extreme stresses at top will be equal to we have to do plus 4.17 plus 2.40 at bottom will be equal to 4.17 minus 2.40 so if you simplify this one again you will get a, one will be 6.57 newton per mm square another one will be plus 1.77 newton per m square so both are compressive only so here both are positive values therefore we are taking both are in compression so we know so i am roughly drawing the diagram already so many diagrams i drawn so this is the cross section of the beam so you can draw straight here which is 400 by 600 and with that we, p by a will be equal to how much we are getting here p by a will be equal to some 4.17 common that is 4.17 at the top 4.17 at bottom again plus so one will be positive another will be negative which is m by z so one will be negative another one will be positive which is 2.40 here 2.40 so exactly at the mid we are getting cutting here and finally what is the resultant final stresses we are getting 
4.17 plus 2.40 positive side 6.57 and here positive side 1.77 you can add both these values which is 1.77 that is final stresses so these are the final stresses how we are finding for the tendon with parabolic profile